Hey guys, Brian Manor here, back with another figure review. Today it is on the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Knight Catwoman figure. Just got this in from Big Bad Toy Store. Unfortunately, it came. they're getting stuff late for whatever reason, but other than that, pretty good. Uh, let's get into the package here quickly. See here, it's same package we got for. It says Batman Arkham Knight there. Has, this is number seven in the series. It says Catwoman right there. On top of it has an, the uh, chest emblem of Batman right there. So it looks like it's supposed to look like his Batman costume. And the inside is pa uh, pink. If you see that here, inside here says number seven DC Collectibles. Batman Arkham Knight has a uh, computer generated graphic image of a uh, Catwoman there. See that there? Pretty cool. Um, and on that side, warning labels and stuff on the bottom, and then on the back here has nothing. Has that uh, image again? Has this Batman logo at the top, and it has the other figures in the wave. That being Night uh, Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman, and Commissioner Gordon. Um. Anyway, let's take a quick break here. Get out of the package. Show everything's been covered with in detail and take of the figure. So there's Catwoman out of the package. Gorgeous looking figure. Um. I'm going to stress before you uh, when you get her out of the package uh, to like I usually do with these DC collectibles figures um, to. Uh, blow dry the joints before you start moving around because you don't want any breaks. Um, I had a couple scary moments when I was trying to move the legs, and uh, it's good now. Like no problems, no breakage so far. So this is that. But just a warning. Uh, we don't want breaks here. Anyway, um, she got some a few accessories here. So let's get into those before we get the figure itself. Let's talk. You can see it in her hand. Get it up. Right. She comes with this whip here. Here's the coil, two of them actually. Here's the coiled one, I mean, uh, the ready to use one. Pretty nice, you know. It's kind of flexible, so. But not super much. And you can see that she holds it in her hand pretty well. Um, either hand, actually. I just prefer the other one. Ah, fell off. You get the idea, I think. It will fit in this hand, other hand as well. But I kind of like the other one better. And, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Um, and she also comes with the uh, coiled up one. See that there? She's got a slit at the side of her leg. See that there? And this will tab into there. If you want that look, you can have it on her side right there. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, it's not a big uh, thing there. Not that noticeable. And she comes with two sets of hands. She comes with two pairs of fists. Uh, ah, pop that out and it goes playing. Um, see that here? All nicely glossed and stuff. Pretty cool. And she has a pair of claw hands. So, get these out as well. And all these have joints on them. See that right here. Claw hands. I'll show you how to put these on. Uh, I should put those on later. But uh, first, let's get into the figure itself. So first off, she has gorgeous head sculpt there. Really nice, pretty accurate, I think, to what she looks like. Pretty close anyway. Some nice highlights in the hair there. It's got the renewer uh, collar on her. So this is before she leaves the uh, building there. Pretty nice costume. It's got the, some nice texturing in it. Certain parts of it have a, some, a glossier black finish on it than the other part of the figure. See that there? She's got a glossy butt. <laughs> but you got a little cap out there, right? Um, it's pretty nice there. It's got some a uh, little bit of gunmetal on the top of her boots there. Some nice stitching on there so looking pretty nice you know um skin tone's a little pale that's the only one minor complaint doesn't look too bad otherwise nice lipstick and uh eyes are painted pretty well um and you know it's going to sound like a more of a thing to say the uh there's not enough cleavage there then to be accurate to the game anyway uh the zipper should be a little bit lower but there's a little bit there and it still looks nice it's not big complaint there just something to throw out there uh 
just something to throw out uh, there for accuracy, but it doesn't take away from the figure and it still looks good to me. And looking pretty nice, so uh, let me show you how to switch out the hands first and then I'll show you the articulation of the figure. So, for uh, switching the hands out, you just kind of pull this out. Careful not to break it. Like I said, they have got, come a lot, uh, long way from their joints, from their other figures, but I'd still be careful because you do not want to break. That hand's a little stiff. Let me try the other one. Basically, you just pop out, pop them out, uh, and there's a little tab right there, and you just plug it into the figure like that, and see that there. Now she's got a claw hand. Let me switch it back out, and then I'll show you the articulation of the figure now. So for articulation, head goes doesn't go that far up, goes down a little bit. Uh, not too much though, more dead on look. Um, go side to side. And there's a little bit of a pivot in there. Arms swivel 360. Careful though. Don't want to break it. Um, and she's got a single jointed elbow. Wrist swivel 360. Hand jumping down. Uh, she's got. She doesn't have an ab crunch so much. She has a abdomen rocker that goes side to side. Doesn't really crunch forward or back. Um, Legs go out this far, they kick that far forward, not very much back because of her butt. <laughs> She's got a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and ankles go down a little bit up, side to side, and some ankle pivot, and no pickles on the bottom of the feet, so pretty good articulation. So for a DC collectibles figure, cat one stands a little bit over. Six inches. Six, uh, yeah, a little bit over six. Six. Inches, but uh, anyway, let's get some size comparisons. And here she is because she's on the same shelf. Here she is next to my Star Wars Black Series, Turn of Jedi Luke, Empire Strikes Back, uh, Yoda, um, Turn of uh, Empire Strikes Back, Turn of Jedi, um, Darth Vader, uh. Lamar Exclusive, Battlefront, Imperial Shock Trooper, Episode 7, Cairo Ren, and Captain Phasma, and Chewbacca. You can see here, she is taller than, taller than the Luke, I think, or about the same height, and the Vader. Uh, taller than the Yoda, General Shock Trooper, Cairo Ren, and maybe about the same height as the uh, Captain Phasma, and uh, close, a little bit shorter than the... Uh, Actually, a little bit shorter than the Captain Phase mine, Ch Chewbacca, so she will more or less fit in your Star Wars Black Series display. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen my review on the Episode Seven Chewbacca, please check that out. And here she is next to my NECA um, exclusive 1990 Michael Keaton Batman and uh, Christopher Reeve Superman. As you can see, she's a little, he's probably about the same, a little bit shorter than Batman. Maybe not the same height as Superman, uh, so she will fit in your NECA display. And here she is next to my uh, DC Collectibles Arrow, TV series Arrow figure. As you can see, there, she's, he's, Arrow's a little bit taller. So she will fit in your DC Collectibles Arrow or Flash display. And here she is next to my uh, DC Collectibles Batman, the animated series Batman and Catwoman. As you can see, she is taller. So she will, kind of, I guess, more or less, maybe she's a little bit taller. So up to you. Uh, so I guess she can kind of fit in your DC Collectibles Batman, the animated TV series display. And here she is next to my uh, Mattel uh, Batman Custom TV series, and it was Batman, Drew Noir, Catwoman, and Yvonne Craig Batgirl. You can see here she's taller than all of them, and the Drew Noir, so she will not fit in your Mattel Batman Custom TV series display. Still wanted to see, show these two Catwoman together. And here she is next to my uh, Movie Masters Dark Knight Rises Batman, and uh, Catwoman, you can see she's taller, so she will not fit in your Movie Masters display. But I wanted to show her with the, um, uh, Dark Knight Rises Catwoman. So, pretty cool. And there she is next to my DC Universe Classics Batman and, uh, Batman, like you see, uh, Arkham City Catwoman. As you can see, she is taller than the Batman, and maybe about the same height as the Catwoman. So she will more or less fit in your DC, uh, 
DC Universe Classics and our Batman Le uh, Legacy Arkham City display. As you can see here, totally different Catwoman's. This one has the hood, uh, glasses up, that one doesn't. And the cleave is just only more on the original one. And this one only has glossy on the boots. This one's glossy all over, but still pretty cool. You can see the difference between the two costumes, so pretty cool. And there she is next to my Batman Unlimited New 52 Batman. You see she's taller, so she will not fit in your Batman Unlimited display. And here she is next to my DC Comics Multiverse 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, uh, Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, and DC uh, Comics Multiverse 1989 Michael Keaton Batman Unmasked Variant. As you see, she's taller than these these guys, so she will not fit in your multiverse display. And there she is next to the other one. Pretty cool. And just to finish it out, here she is next to my uh, Kenner uh, Quick Change Bruce Wayne Batman when Batman Returns, Michael Keaton Batman, uh, Crime Attack Batman, uh, Batman Returns of Show Fight for Catwoman, uh, Multiverse Dark Knight Rises Batman, Val Kilmer Batman Forever Batman, and 1989 uh, Original Batman Toy Biz, and uh, Mattel uh, Hasbro uh, DC Superheroes Batman. As you see, she's taller than all these Kenner figures, so she will not fit in your Kenner display. And she's shorter than the Mattel uh, DC Superheroes Batman, so she will not fit in the cause in the uh, Mattel or Hasbro DC Superheroes display, but still pretty cool. And there she is next to my comic uh, Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman, Hot Toys, uh, X Men Days of Future Past, New Jack and Wolverine, Jordan Army Ryoko, uh, Central Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Return of the Jedi, Jedi Knight, and Skywalker, uh, Real Toys. The Raven Vincent Price, Sideshow Collectibles, uh, Vero Gossi Dracula, and Sideshow Collectibles, Silver Screen Family Opera. You see, she's shorted all these guys. She will not fit in your um, Sideshow Hot Toys display. And there she is next to my uh, Sideshow Collectibles, uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Legos Greenleaf, uh, Sideshow Collectibles, Heroes of the Rebellion, uh, Loom, uh, Suit, uh, Pamela Adela, Sideshow Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, uh, Avengers of the Sith. Uh, Anakin Skywalker and uh, Star, Trek uh, Star Wars Star Trek Collectibles, uh, Order of the Jedi, uh, Clone Wars Commander Obi Wan Kenobi with the Star Trek Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, um, Avengers of the Sith, Ian McGregor Obi Wan head sculpt, Star Trek Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Qui Gon Jinn, and Star Trek Collectibles, Army of Darkness Ash. As you can see, she is shorter than all these figures, so she will not fit in your sideshow Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, or Army of Darkness display. Here she is next to my uh, Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace, Phantom Menace Dallas, and you can see Catwoman is taller. And finally for a Marvel Legends new person, here she is next to my uh, Marvel Legends working on Kung Fu for the Wakes Heart Spider, as you can see, as you can see, uh, Catwoman is taller. So all in all, this is a great figure, uh, I think the sculpting is good, gorgeous looking figure, um, it's pretty good articulation, it could be better, but it's not the worst, and like I said before, Always, it's always a better idea for these figures to use the blow dryer on the joints before moving around, but uh, after that, pretty good. I'm having fun posing her. I think she's a very great looking figure, and I do recommend her for if you're a Batman Arkham Knight fan, Catwoman fan, Batman, Batman fan in general. Um, she will definitely want to give one to get, and I think she was good in this way with uh, the Batman. Um, and uh, if you're just looking for a more modern take on Catwoman, this is a pretty one, uh, good one to get. Um, if you're a seven inch scale collector, um, I think she fits in pretty well. Um, and again, like I said, I think she's a great looking figure. I, and again, I think uh, she's a great figure for your Batman collection. I, and I totally recommend it if you're a uh, Batman Arkham Knight, Batman Cameron fan, and Batman fan in general. Uh, anyway, this is my quick review on the DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, Catwoman figure. Hope you like it. Hope you're helpful. If you did, please hit the right button. Subscribe, share, leave a comment. Definitely reach any for me on Twitter, Ryan, and Oscar Mania. As well as my Facebook profile. It's going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Ow. Payback time, Eddie.